Making electronics comes with different circuits and components. These components have a different voltage of operations and that is exactly why voltage supply of different values are in use in the day-to-day -day making of electronics. In this video, we present to you how to make a power supply that can cater for the need in making any type of electronics. My name is Magnus and I'll be your host on this special video. If you have been following our works on our Facebook page, you will realize that we've developed so many electronics ranging from analog electronics to digital electronics. At some point in any of these developments, we built several power supply and testing tools in order to run the circuit and analyze it as well. Instead of building a test equipment on a project basis, we decided to build a power supply that can cater for the ultimate need in our making of electronics. I present to you an ultimate power supply. Yeah. Yeah. The system comes with lots of features which include variable power source ranging from 1.5 volt to 16 volt with a 10 amp maximum current, auxiliary power source that output fixed voltage of 5 volt, 9 volt, 12 volt and 24 volt. Continuity tester, 5 volt output for phone charging, digital oscilloscope, Zener diode voltage tester, USB cable tester, signal generator, and with other utility display features. This is a lot of system, I must say, and that is why I call it an ultimate power supply. I will depth directly on how I develop the systems and I will test it afterwards. Earlier, before this development, I have developed a 6 amp variable power supply. Though it's serving me, but I always have it in my project board to develop the ultimate power supply. The power supply that I was using then has no short circuit protection and that has really spoiled some of the ICs. And now, I decided to fix this and develop the ultimate power supply. I disordered the initial power supply and removed the voltmeter. I made a space to add more ICs in parallel in order to increase the current. I am using LM317 linear regulator. I tightened them on the heat sink. I insert the attachment on the board and solder them. After soldering, the board was looking like this. For the controller part of the system, I used a boost converter circuit board that I earlier developed since the circuit will still be in use as well. I removed the parts that will suit the new design I'm about to implement. Using the controller circuit diagram, I began to implement the design. For the fixed voltage that I want, I calculated the resistor configuration and I assembled the components. After soldering, the board was looking like this. I used different color of LED bulb to indicate a particular voltage. For the toggle switching, I used BC547 and MPN transistor for the channel switching. Next, I started working on the power source for the control. I am using 5V and 12V regulator. I mounted them on a heatsink, though I did it wrongly, which later had a bounce back as the project progressed. I should have isolated the regulators initially since they are different in voltage which was why it blowed up when tested. For the Zener diode voltage testing, I used a higher voltage capacitor for the rectification. I used a 55 timer in a stable mode to generate a square wave signal. Next, I began to develop a short circuit protection which will trip off once the output is shorted. I am using a relay for that and I drill through to shoot to the perf board. After completing part of the control board, I marked the unused area and cut it off. I started mounting the USB male and female port for USB cable tester. Doing this on a perf board was so difficult, so I used an enamel wire to connect each terminal out. <laughs> After the complete assembly, I soldered them to the control board. I used a boost converter module for 5 volt output voltage. I installed this LED for battery level indicator. 
I use BC548 MPN transistor to switch the LED since the inbuilt indicator doesn't have enough current to drive this LED. At this point, I made the first test run on the control board. The regulators actually worked at the first time, but in the long run, it blowed up, so I had to change them and isolate one of them to the heatsink. Having done that, the system is now ready for test. I assembled them and made the test run, and it worked perfectly fine. Next, I started working on the packaging system. I am using wood for that. I measure the necessary dimension and cut them into place. Though the wood are not finely smoothened from the furniture man that I bought the wood from, and I knew that the shape won't fit well. Since I don't have enough tools to modify the wood, I went ahead with the structure. I developed the face base and I did the same for the nest. After I must have completed the boss, I cut a switching plywood to the measured size. Ensuring that the plywood suits the skeleton part of the boss, I painted the skeleton with an oil paint in order to keep it off from wood attacking insect. I went to a plastic vendor and with the measurement I gave him, he cut a plastic that I needed for the standard casing. Having the whole setup, I began to measure the dimension of different components that will be mounted on the case. Completing the measurement, I started drilling out the marked area. Using the sand knot, I smoothed the gray surface. After completing this, I removed the paper stick to the plastic material. This is the time to install the oscilloscope. I loosened the system and marked out the area to cut with caution. I began to remove some parts that won't fit in into the new casing. I used soldering iron trying to unsolder some parts but it wasn't coming out. So I had to go and buy a rework station since I felt that would work fine to unsolder such kind of joints. I started over again and this time with a new technique. After a while, I realized that it's not coming out. The heat from the device is not much, that I didn't know. At this point, I was really aggressive. After spending such amount of money to get a tool and the system failed to work. Next, I decided to use the hard way, cutting out the switch. This process caused a lot of damage to the board and I was able to get out only one of the switch. I had to go back to the workstation and this time, applying enough heat, I realized the way forward and I completely removed the switches. I guess I've learned a new lesson. I replaced the switch that got spoiled. I soldered all the terminals with wires and connected them back to the board. Luckily for me, when I tested the system, it was working. Next, I started installing it in the new case. I cut off some part of the wood that didn't fit into the new casing. I began to install the base and with the setup, I'm now ready to complete the whole system. I screwed into place the handle. The work was getting intensive, I must say. I drilled a hole to tighten the case to the wood. I tightened all sides and sealed up the whole system. I used a kerosene to remove the plastic that was hard to remove and I didn't know that that would affect the strength of the plastic and that caused cracks on the system and that was why I left it that way. Let's check the system out. First, the variable power supply. Continuity tester. Okay, yeah. 
short circuit protection. Signal generator. Five volt output. Oscilloscope. And fixed voltage power supply. I have used the power supply in test running several project developments even before I made this video and I'm glad it's serving the purpose of the build. Just that the physical look doesn't look okay unlike other of my developments like the FM transmitter, the automatic changeover system and many more. The detailed circuits are presented in a PDF form and you can access them via the video description below. What material should I use to repackage the system? Because I can't really settle for this. I would want your contributions on the comment section below. Check out our other works and updates on our daily publication on our Facebook page at Magnum Technical Academy. Thanks to you all and I will see you on the next project. Do have a blissful day.